friends. Today we are working on Unit 6, Lesson 6, page 271. So, here we go again with solving word problems. And this time it says, be ready to explain what you did. So, oh, sorry. I'll put that right here in case you still need to see that. Um, so, just like last time, I do, we do, you do. So I will do this one, I'll model this one for you. We will do this one together and you'll ask all the questions that you have about this equation. And then I will read these ones to you and you will solve them on your own. Milo, number one, Milo makes a display of plant and fish fossils for the library. He puts in 478 plant fossils. He puts in 67 fish fossils. How many fossils are in the display? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two things at once. We have done this before. It was back in November when we were adding with regrouping. So regrouping is when we make the new 10 and we put that new 10 up on top. Some of your families might call it carrying. So you may, they might say carry the one. So in class, we call it regrouping. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the equation first. Whoops, not five. 478 plus 67. Now back in November, when we first learned how to do this, we would draw a picture right next to it. So we're gonna do the same thing as that right now. So we have four one hundredths, and you are drawing this also. So nobody is just watching. We are doing this together. And then I have seven tenths. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw my eight ones up here because I'm running out of room since I made a mistake over there. In fact, I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit so it's in the good light. All right, so I have the top one drawn, but this is different than subtraction. In subtraction, we only draw the big number and then we do Xing out, but this is adding. We're putting together a total. So we also need to draw this bottom number. So we need to draw 67 on the bottom. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for new groups of 10 in these ones. So let's look at these dots. Do we have 10 dots at least? Yes, we do. So usually I would have these together so I don't have to draw it separate, but I'm going to circle my five there and my five there. I'm going to X them out and I'm going to put a new 10 there. Do you remember doing this? I bet you do. The other thing I'm noticing is I also have these, these 10s. I have 10 10s. So that means that I have a new 100. Look at that. So I have made my picture big enough so I can actually count them because that's important. That's one of the reasons why we don't like to work on these pages because you have to draw any many little pictures and we can't see calm until we get because sometimes we write and we write big or we write messy or we cross things out and it gets hard to read. So when we do it big, it helps. And when we do the five groups of five with the singles next to it, that helps to keep it separate too. Helps it make it easier to read. So now I'm gonna go ahead and count these up and you're gonna count them with me. Here we go. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Now we're gonna count the tens. 510, 520, 530, 540. Now we're gonna count the ones. 541, 542, 543, 544, 545. So when we counted this up, we came up with 545. Okay, so now we are going to go over here and we're going to figure that out in this equation. And 
if you need to, just like before, sometimes it helps, I think it helps to put these lines down here to kind of keep things separate so it doesn't get all crazy. So this is the ones, this is the tens, and this is the hundreds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add up 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. So I put my ones down here and my new 10 up here. So this is 15 still, but my 10 goes over here. Now I'm going to add up my tens. 1 plus 7 plus 6 tens. So that equals 14. Once again, I have my 4 down here in the tens because this is actually 140 is my total. And I'm putting my new 100 up there. Now I'm going to add this. 4 plus 1 is 5. So now we have 500. 45. Look at that. That equals the same thing. So we have 545 fossils. I wish I had 545 fossils. That would be pretty rad. All right. I'm going to put a line here. Questions about this? Give me a thumbs up if you remember doing this. That doesn't mean you're perfect at it just means that you're like, oh yeah, I remember when we did that. Yeah, 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 I got that. Thumbs up if you're kind of feeling it. All right, number, so this is number one, and here's number two. So number two, remember, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna write down the equation, draw the picture, solve the picture, and then we're gonna solve it over here too, okay? I'm gonna get out, I, one thing I remembered as I was doing that, is I would use different colored pins to kind of help figure out what goes where. So I'm going to get out my different colored pins so that um, I can do my circling and crossing out like that. You don't have to do that. I think it just makes it easier for you to see. All right, here we go. The Nature Club plants some pine and birch trees. They plant 496 birch trees. Then they plant 283 pine trees. How many trees does the club plant in all? So there we are again. We're going to add these together. So which one, which numbers are we going to add together? Go ahead and unmute yourself and tell me. Yeah, we're working with a big number here. 496 plus 283. Whoa! I told you we were going to get into some big numbers. Looks like it's happening. Okay, we have our equation. What are we going to do now? Yes, we're going to draw that picture. So, four hundreds. And you're drawing this too. I'm actually going to be quiet because you guys should be able to do this without me saying anything. Give me a thumbs up when you have your picture drawn and it looks like mine. All right. Now what are we going to do? I see some circling and crossing out up here. What are we going to do down here though? Yeah, we are looking for new groups. So let's look at the ones first. Do we have a group of 10 there that we can circle and cross out to make a new 10? We don't, do we? No, we only have nine there. Okay, what about the tens? 
do we have a group of 10 that we can cross, circle, cross out, and make a new 100? Yes, we do, don't we? Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, cross that out, and then we're making a new 100 here. All right, now what? Yeah, we're gonna count them up. When you get the total here, go ahead and type it in chat. Remember, don't just shout it out. We wanna give everybody a chance to find the answer on their own. It can be frustrating when people just holler it. All right, so I saw this number a lot. That's what I got too. All right, so we have 779 there, and now we wanna make sure that we get that when we add them up. So the first thing we're gonna do, add those ones, six plus three. Do we have a new 10? We don't. We're just gonna put that nine down there. All right, nine plus eight. There, we do have a new 100, don't we? So when we have 17 10s, we're going to put our 7 down here and our new 10 up there. Our new, new 100, sorry, up there. Now you're going to add 1 plus 4 plus 2, and hopefully we end up with the same answer, which we do. Yeah, so they are the same. That's how many trees... So you can see there's a lot of extra work to do here, but this will get easier and easier as we practice more and more. All right, I do, we do, you do. So we've done it twice together. This is your turn, so I will read these each, and then you're going to solve them on your own. But of course, I'm here with you in the meeting. So if you get stuck, let's solve them together. All right, number three says there are 818 ducks entered in the Rubber Duck River race. Then 182 more are added. How many ducks are in the race now? Number four, there are 189 children at Camp Sunshine. There are 375 children at Camp Bluebird. How many children are there at the two camps? When you're finished with all four equations, take a photograph and share it with me on Seesaw. Thank you for working hard today, friends.